Hello all, Jeff here with a new video. Welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7. The March update is live and we have three spotlight cars for this month. So we've got the um, Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5 which is a road car. Then we've got the number 88 Ford Mustang RTR driven by Chelsea Denofa. And the number 25 Mustang RTR driven by Vaughan Gittin Jr. Both of those cars are drift cars in the Formula Drift Championship. What else is new? Forza race regulations, however, it's only in private beta at the moment. So, really, only those who can participate in, in the Forza race regulations beta at the moment are Turn 10 employees and race marshals. And as you can see in the multiplayer section, there isn't even a hopper there. So, yeah, um, the general public has to wait till April to get their hands on Forza race regulations. Personally, I was disappointed today I was going to ha have a go at race regulations, however, we just have to wait for, for things to be right with the penalties before it goes to the public, I guess. So yeah, we'll see what happens there. Anyway, we'll start off with the spotlight cars. So the two Formula Drift Mustangs are exactly the same in spec. It, here is the number 25 car, the Monster Energy car driven by Vaughan Gettin Jr. Ever since the Formula, we knew about the Formula Drift cars coming to Forza, I personally I wanted a Vaughan Gittin Jr. car in the game because it's probably you know one of the, one of those flagship names in Formula Drift. I've known about Vaughan Gittin Jr. for well over ten years now, but his teammates' cars in Forza now as well. So this is the number 88 car driven by Chelsea Denofa. One cool thing I like about this car is the um is his steering wheel because it's got a pizza graphic on it. Apparently, which is in actually in his real life car which is pretty cool. Now in terms of these Formula Drift Mustangs you you won't find them under Formula Drift like the other ones you have to find them under Ford however these two cars are in the Formula Drift division. Anyway let's test them. Now excuse my drifting skills cuz I suck at drifting. I'll start off in Vaughn getting Junior's car now um, obviously drift suspension being a drift car and um, I'm going to go into cockpit cam because you know it's, we've had the fixed cockpit cam for what since Forza Motorsport 3 only way you can move the camera is with the right stick as you can see we're I mean, not going too bad to be honest here but um but yeah as you can see it's pretty much fixed whereas this March update you can change that. So as we go into Chelsea Denofa's car, um, pause the game, go into your options and the HUD. You've now got a cockpit drift camera. So you can, in default, it's off, but you can switch it on. So, um, so you know, it's to do a sensitivity, look, speed, range. If you want, you want a hundred hundred range. That way, you're looking all over the place. Look, speed, obviously how quickly the camera's moving as well as the sensitivity you know with g-forces and stuff like that you can adjust all that yourself but um you know as i said excuse my drifting skills i put put it on normal steering because i've had a lot of complaints from my previous drift videos but there's chosey denalfa's pizza wheel and as you can see the camera is moving this is no left no right stick movement no VR headset here. It's just the game's doing it for me. It's really, really cool. I mean, you know, for all those guys that are really good at drifting, you know, this will be a very welcome addition. And as you can see, it does look really, really cool. Um, obviously, not being a drifter myself, it is a bit, a bit confusing. Um, but yeah, um, I'm sure you'd get used to it very quickly now. As you can see, I'm, I'm doing all okay with the drifting here. Go back into the far chase cam, which I normally use. But um, I do stuff it up here. And you may be thinking, with that drift camera, does it work when you're just doing circuit racing? Well, to answer the question, I'll just take these corners like I would in a normal race. As you can see, the only time it actually moves is if you're in a bit of a power slide. So just taking turns like a normal race. Um, the camera doesn't work unfortunately. Going back into Vaughn getting Junior's car. I was on a, a bit of a roll by my standards in terms of drifting by the time I got back into this thing. 
Um, look, very cool cars. Um, did I did I really want? Did I personally want them in the game? No. I was more looking forward to race regulations, which I'm gonna have to wait another month for. But um, yeah. Look, they need to get the penalty system right. I totally understand that. But we've known about penalties in Forza 7 ever since E3 2017. But anyway. The last spotlight car, the road going RTR Spec 5 Mustang. Now, in stock trim, this is in mid B class. When you get this car, it will be homologated for sport touring. So unlike the trailer for this update, it's not really a drift car. And you're about to see why when I hand the keys over to the Stig. Let's see how he goes with it. And of course, that means going to the Top Gear test track. So here we go. Um, nice cloudy day at Top Gear. Before we get to turn one, other updates. There's been some bug fixes um, at Pit Lane in many of the tracks. I hope that Sebring, as the conditions change for the recent Le Mans Esports race there. Um, other issues that have been, um, or other parts of the update, well apparently all, all driver gear is unlocked and will be available in the race shop. So far as I've uploaded this video, I haven't seen any of the locked driver gear appear in the race shop yet, but time will tell. Um, in regard to this car, Yep, it's got some very bright daytime running lights, very reminiscent of those seen on Vaughan Gittin Jr's car as well as Chelsea Denofa's car. All in all, this car handles really well. It feels like it's accelerating really fast and yeah, it does have really good acceleration but it probably also helps that this has a 10 speed gearbox. Yep, 10 speed. It's obviously, you know, very sh short gears to you know, give you that sense of speed and the real car probably does have a 10 speed gearbox as well. I'm pretty sure the 2080 Mustang does have a 10 speed gearbox. Could be wrong but it does have a lot of gears, I know that. But what can this car do? It was a 122.3 and where's that put that on the leaderboard? It'd be pretty much in the middle of the time sheet. Slightly slower than the Plymouth Atomic bu Bubble Top but quicker than the Hot Wheels Twin Mill. Yeah, there you have it. And there is, there are the three Mustangs that are available right now in the March update of Forza Motorsport 7. I would have liked the Mustang V8 Supercar, but it might take a while to get that one laser scanned. Anyway, if you like the video, smash the thumbs up button, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and if you want to see more, subscribe and tap the notification icon. Anyway, this is Jeff here, and happy racing. Cheers.